Hi, I'm Clark. And I'm Emily. On sailing vessel Temptress. We've been living aboard our antique boat here in the Dominican Republic, and this is what the past 30 days has looked like for us. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Clark. We opted out of a typical American life to live more independently, frugally, and off the grid. We currently travel the world aboard our antique sailboat named Temptress. Each month, we sit down to tell you where we are, what we're doing, share the best and worst moments, answer questions, and tell you exactly how much it costs us to live this life. This is our adventure log for June 2022. has been pretty nice, uh, but it's been hot and it's been windy and it's been buggy. During the day in Luperon, it's very windy. And then during the night, it's incredibly calm and incredibly buggy. So it's been really nice to be able to flip on that AC in the aft cabin and be more comfortable. There have been a couple boats just in the past few weeks that have dragged their moorings, uh, which is not bad right now because there are no hurricanes or anything. So it's kind of that time of the year where everything gets stress tested, hopefully before we get anything major uh, going on. But uh, the weather is fairly good. I wish it would rain some more because we've gotten rain like once this month. Everything is so yeah. dry. The cows are very skinny yeah. and we're having to buy a lot of water. That's typical for this time of year, this place. It's always dry in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, technology update. Uh, there are still a few, I believe, air conditioners. Uh, most of them, I think, have been sent out from the first batch. If you've installed one, uh, please uh, write a testimonial or do a little video on it or something, send it our way and we'll attach it to one of these videos so other people can see. And mm -hmm. honestly, I want to hear your stories. Since we know stories. they're working, because <laughs> yeah. they're kind of out of our control. So. Yeah, I've got two of them I've installed myself and they worked great, so I think it works pretty good. Mm -hmm. And BBMS, uh, BBMS Bank Manager Plus. It's the same story. We're, we have 10, I think, available in the US right now. That's all uh, we have less left. Than this. I think it's less than this, I think it's a dozen. Okay. Yeah, if you want one, Get on it right away because uh, it's going to be a while yeah, before we have another batch. It's the same old wine from me and every other person doing what I'm doing. Chip availability. The world of microchips is difficult now. Mm -hmm. What has our daily life looked like this month? Well, we've been getting out and about a little more. We've been doing some hiking. Uh, we've been taking some trips to the big cities and buying groceries that we can't get Ooh. here in town. There's this place called Price Smart in Santiago that's kind of like a big Costco where you have to buy five pounds of everything. <laughs> uh, but that's been nice because we start, We left in 2019 with quite a bit of food, a uh, hundred and some cans of meat, of which I think we have maybe four or five left. Mm -hmm. So I've started buying meat and refilling our canned goods and um, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Just bulking up on produce and since he's not eating gluten now. Um, we've got more gluten-free stuff and protein bars and those sorts of things. Yeah, it's hard to live life without bread, not because it's so wonderful, it's just so easy to eat. Yeah. We've, uh, well, I wanna talk about that right now. I've been whining about my back for like a year, ever since I had COVID. I've tried a bunch of things right now. I've been gluten-free for a couple months and I was kind of poo-pooed that, but it seems to help. I've been doing some exercises for my back what muscle groups seem to be the problem. I think that's helped. But I was stumbled while we were moving back in Temptress, I stumbled abo aboard uh, about a bottle of glucosamine and conjointin that I've had for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And I started popping that, because what the hell? I think that's really helped. Yeah, I think everybody who takes that has always said, it's really good, it's really yeah. good, it's very Even cool. like old injuries to joints and stuff suddenly feel great. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I used it this month because I smashed my finger in the fridge um, before we replaced the spring and I had this, Sort of like dislocated finger for a long time yeah. and it's working so okay so we're yeah. getting religious about you guys eating shark car yeah. cartilage <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is but yeah so we, we've had better uh better food this month that's, so yeah. that's something worth mentioning we did leave in 2019 and we left with a lot of food and there's this temptation to stock up on a lot of food when you go out and live this life but something i've learned with food and with soaps and other things like you feel like you have to stock up all this stuff but it's hard to make a decision that you know is going to be the same decision you would make three or four years from now. Yeah. Like I bought a lot of soap, but then we're out here and we don't shower as much. So I have way too much soap. I have enough soap for like 10 years. <laughs> uh, and some of the, like we had tons of pasta, which now we're not eating pasta. You know, mm -hmm. we have tons of um, crackers and things. Well, we don't have, you know, we're not eating those anymore. So um, it's good to plan ahead and stock up, but also be open to flexibility well, and also, lifestyle change. I mean, I had a bit to do with that because I'm making the suggestions before she knew what cruising was. 
And I was basing that on my experience from 20 years ago, going to places that are not as advanced as the Caribbean islands. Yeah. So I'm thinking grocery stores are few and far between, and it'll be months before you find one that has like canned goods and yeah. things. But you can. Yeah. And but you can get the lots The world's of changing. Things. You get lots of things. <laughs> it's just a matter of like, whoo, B. Uh, it's a matter of we can get cheese here, but we can't get uh, like really good cheddar cheese. Uh, I, I, I put cheese because I'm from Wisconsin, and cheese is an important cheese food snob. group. <laughs> um, but you have to go to the big city to get those sorts of things. So there are things that are scarce here, but not as much as I think you predicted based on your lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and also not planning based on how you live on land, because we lived very differently mm -hmm. on land. We were doing, there was just certain recipes I always made when we were on land, and now that I'm out here, I make totally different recipes. Yeah. So stocking up for that didn't work so much. But when we get down to the atolls of Panama and and down that way, hanging out with the Kuna, uh, they're still, they're not gonna have yeah, grocery yeah. stores. Yeah, it'll be nice so. to have some stuff, yeah. stable stuff. Mm -hmm. Definitely, so, uh, so yeah, daily life. We've been thinking a lot about food, uh -huh. in case you can't tell. I've had kind of an interesting deal. Um, getting ready for a new electronics project. I don't want to bore you with the details, but I'm going to switch technologies a bit, so it takes some research. Well, just about uh, the beginning of the month, a Romanian boat came in, and the, the girl there on the boat, uh, two parents and a girl, is quite the electronics prodigy. She, at 14, really dove into it. She's 18 now. And um, anyway, she's coming over and she's helping me. So I feel like I, I'm mentoring they're someone. They're like helping each other. They're, yeah, and they're she cute. does all the real work. <laughs> <laughs> they come over and they just go in the zone and I go off and I do other things because I don't know what you're talking about, but you're both excited about it, so it's good. Yeah, we make progress most days. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we're switching to a different technology. And if that works out well, something for the air conditioner. That'll be a retrofit for you older uh, people that bought one now but uh, something that'll maybe make it more efficient, definitely make it kind of more interesting to use, will uh -huh. be available. And speaking of AC and technology and all that stuff, we are getting ready to, I think we're gonna go back to the States in August, mm -hmm. in September is yep. the plan now. And so you've been getting solar panels and all kinds of other things to trick out the truck camper that yep. your parents have that we're gonna use. So that's uh, something fun to look forward to. Yeah, that's coming up next month. And we have a new uh, toy, a new camera that we might be using. Oh. During that trip, this is a 360 camera that we got thanks to patron support and stuff like yeah. that. It allows us to buy these stupid Yeah, we don't make anything things. on this or anything. We don't have to deal with them. We paid full money. I just think this is cool. And I want to explain, when you see that we have drone shots now, they're not drone shots. They're from this thing. And this pole, this pole goes nine feet long. And we just hold it up and it can film everything in all direction except its own stick. Yeah. So it looks like it's floating in space. It's so cool. Like so it looks like this. And uh, that'll be nice when we're out uh, west in a big scenic places in the States. Sure. And it is so much easier to carry than our big uh, TV studio camera that we carry around and what we're filming on right now. Yep, absolutely. Put the cover on. Put the cover on. Protect it. Well, Emily, you had a pet this month. I adopted a spider this month. I've had this thing uh, since I got here, lots of jumping spiders uh, just kind of come up to me and crawl on me, like all the ants that are crawling on me right now. Uh, and this one was really pretty and blue and yellow, so I kind of took it home to study it for a while and ended up making a little cage for it in a mason jar. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. Fed it little bugs. Yep, fed it little bugs. And it stayed alive for about a month, and then it just, uh, I think I left it in a place where it got rain on it and I might have drowned it. Mm -hmm. I'm a terrible spider mom. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's been fun to it was just cute. study. I like to look up the little species and plants and coral and fish that I find. That's one mm -hmm. of my hobbies. Uh, so, so that's been fun. Speaking of species, mm -hmm. here, bees <laughs> that are attacking my head. Um, uh, boat projects, we are just about moved off the other boat. Uh, we've really been dragging our feet we like had all this momentum and then we just kind of uh, yeah but now that we've moved back on the our boat uh there's just less urgency the, the amazing thing though when you move all your stuff off of a boat and then you try to move it all back in it's amazing you think like how did all this stuff exist <laughs> on our boat before because it it just expands after years it kind of like yeah. gets pushed everything down. has its place and it takes longer to put it all in yeah so we've got almost everything off. We kind of put a hold on it because we just had stuff on the floor, you know, trying to figure out where it all goes. But yeah, we have yeah. most everything put away now. And we've cleaned out the forward cabin, mm -hmm. which is nice. We can actually 
sleep and touch each other, <laughs> yeah. which is cool. Not our separate bunks in the back, at least yeah. not as long as it's not too hot that night. Yeah, and you, a lot of that was also electronic stuff that is finally cleaned up yeah. now that the Bank Manager Plus is done for now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's been our boat projects. Uh, best and worst? Well, for me, hands down, the best has been how my back feels. Uh, it's just so much better. Uh, it's still not great, but it's so much better. I could cross oceans now where I couldn't have last year at this time. So uh, as soon as hurricane season's over, we get to be a sailboat again. Yay! And partly because of that and partly because of just getting things done, we're out and about more, hiking around, having more friends. fun. friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've been keeping to ourselves a lot, but now we've yeah. been reaching out and Yeah, we had dinner parties things. at people's houses. And, yeah. yeah. It's been very nice. Yeah. I don't know what the worst part of the month has been. Your poor spider dying. No, that was, <laughs> that was uh, disappointing. But yeah, I think everything else has been pretty good all in all. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes we just have a good month. Yeah, been a pretty decent month. Mm -hmm. And oh, well, they want to hear about the budget. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that budget thing. All right, I'm going to do the math and I will insert the budget. Here. This month we were pretty close to our $1,000 a month benchmark with $600 in groceries. That included stock up trips to Santiago and Puerto Plata, $102 in restaurants, $23 in wine and alcohol for a total of $7.25 for food and drink. We spent $70 in furnishings for um, the boat, including some bed sheets, a new table cover uh, for the dining table, some other small things like that. $40 for phone, $18 for propane, and $61 for water, coming to a total of about $120 for utilities. $50 for the mooring fee, we paid a few months in advance to get a discount. $161 for health insurance, $36 for taxi and transport, $18 for streaming services, and that brings our total to about $1,180 for June 2022. So our budget's been pretty boring for the past several months because it's been the same thing over and over. I'm kind of looking forward to um, having a budget for the RV trip, for the sure. camper trip, because that's going to be very different. We're yeah. going to be living off the land. And, and there might be a fair amount in the fuel section. Yeah, we're <laughs> Driving use a, a four-wheel drive truck for sure. around the country, mm -hmm. up and down mountains. <laughs> yeah, so we'll do that. Okay, I think that's it. That's our budget. That's our daily life. Things mm -hmm. are going pretty well for us. Let us know how they're going with you. What are you working on? Boat stuff? What kind of videos are you enjoying? I think the awning video has been pretty popular this month. The electrical series is going to start taking off, which will be oh, good. Oh, yeah. And thank all of you people that uh, have Aaron. commented and shared the uh, elect well, both of those videos. It's very obvious from our analytics that we're getting all kinds of brand new viewers. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I can think that would be happening is people are recommending those videos to other people. You know, if you have friends with boats and you don't think they know about Emily and Clark, please share. It really helps us a lot. Yep. And there's nothing that makes me want to do a video more than having the last video do well. Absolutely. Cool. And thank you, everybody. I just realized I'm not looking at the camera this whole time because there's just like hummingbirds over there. Uh -huh. There's birds over there. And there's, anyway, <laughs> it's nice to get out, get yep. off the boat and explore again. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to our patrons, all of you people that we love and talk to often and mm -hmm. more often this month. We've been talking to a lot of patrons and solving a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, so uh, join Patreon if you aren't a patron already. Thank you to all of you have have already. And we will talk to you next month, probably, from a new place. From a new place. We'll see. Bye. When we met, we knew differently but with no regrets both living life authentically so we packed up this antique boat to make a life upon the sea adventure